Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Medusa and this is a new series called Catch the Deck. Uh, so in this game, Pal World, which I'm sure most gamers are pretty familiar with at this point, it's really gotten so popular so quickly. Um, but in case you don't, Pal World is a mix of arc so lots of survival mechanics uh, but with the fun and the cute characters of Pokemon uh, I've been having such a great time I'm really really loving it and I wanted to make myself a challenge so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go through the pal deck as you can see here and we are going to catch every pal one by one This pal deck has a lot of information, where they are, what they are, and we're going to go through, like I said, one by one in the catch the deck challenge. So it's easy. We catch each pal in order of the pal deck, and we can only have pals in our party that were from further up on the list. Don't want to make things too easy, right? All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started with number one, the lamb ball. Now, I kind of um, don't know my own strength here, and he needs uh, RIP Lamb Chop, he's not joining the team this year, unfortunately. So I set out to find another lamb, uh, one that I can actually tame and not kill. It did take a while because uh, there weren't many out for some reason, so it's already nighttime now. But I finally did see another one, you know, just cute little guy hanging out. I decided to have a conversation with my friend Chipstick, and he decided he wanted to come home with me. It's a success. All right, so we got number one on the list. Moving on to number two, the Kativa. The Kativa is a feisty little pink cat who is actually really helpful to have in your party if you want extra weight. Like if you're trying to carry things, they give you a bonus, which is really nice. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna chase this guy down. Not very well, actually. Just gonna have a little nighttime jaunt here. So of course, have to stop midway through the run for a snack. Okay, so we're finally, well, I thought we were catching up. Come here. Okay, 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 yes. So I'm so sorry for beating you in the face with my friendship stick, but um, again, made a boo-boo, and I'm just gonna blame it on the fact that it's nighttime and I can't see anything. Um, but unfortunately, that first Kativa is dead. So moving on to another one. You'll probably notice that I am running around the hillside. So this is kind of the first area that you're introduced to in the game. And you know, this is numbers one through 10 of the PAL deck. They're kind of original basic PALs. Uh, most of them can be found around here. Now, a little later, I am going to have to go out further, I think. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to head down and look right here. We have uh, two Kativas taking a little nap, which, you know, just got to have a little talk. So let's capture one of them. Oh, no, there's a world boss right next to us. I gotta be careful here. All right, yeah, so looks like the second one just uh, not up to snuff, unfortunately. He's not, he wasn't strong enough to join the team. All right, now we have the chickpea. It's basically all over the map. Uh, these yummy little chickens are really helpful for laying eggs in your farms. 
Uh, so we're going to run up the street here and find a chickpea. Again, they're really plentiful, so it shouldn't be too hard. I apologize for it being nighttime. I do play on a uh, public server, so unfortunately I was not able to just change it to daytime when I wanted, but that's okay. That's part of the experience, right? That's part of the game. Oh, we have a little chickpea right here about to make some fried chicken. Oh, and the lamb finished it off. Okay, um, looks like there's a pattern here, and we need to find another chickpea. Oh, that's a lamp, not what we... Um... I know there's got to be some around here somewhere. Climb up real quick, see if there's anything up on this ledge. Oh, here we go. Watch you napping. I, I'm being very careful not to kill it here. Just go ahead and... Capture it early. Nice. All right. Successfully caught number three. Now on to number four, which is the Lif Monk. Uh, it's somewhat plentiful, just not as much as the Chickapee. Uh, it looks like kind of a green little squirrel. And it is, I believe, a leaf creature. As far as its element goes. It's really helpful on your base as well because it can do so many different things. Looking for the lip monk took so long uh, because I could not find one that was spawning anywhere. So I did cut a couple minutes of footage just to save your boredom. Don't want to do that to you. So anyway, I am looking around, trying my hardest to find a lip monk. And then I remembered that I had seen some one time by the water. Uh, so that's where I am heading now. And hello, beautiful. I happen to find a common egg uh, on the way. Now, I never seen a large common egg and I've picked up a lot of common eggs. So I don't think that's a thing in this game. It's just the regular 10 pound common. But we're at a beautiful river here and bingo, lip monk, bring that ass here. It's so fast, super, super fast, like hard to keep up with fast. Which is kind of a problem when you're dealing with a stamina bar. Yeah. All right, will it stay in the sphere? And yes, we're successful. Done with Lit Monk. Thank goodness. On to the next one, number five, Fox Sparks. Let me just go ahead and tell you that it took me forever to find this duck. The Fwack, I went all the way down to uh, the beaches in the south. I found one, accidentally killed it. Um, and then I had to go run, uh, well actually fly, to islands looking for this duck. Yeah. And I have one thing to say about it. 
Fuck the flag. Forgive my French, but I hate it. I, I, I want it to die. I will never use it. And I, I hate it. Okay, so anyway, but we got it. It's done. And next is the Spark It. Um, it is definitely not an electric mouse with a lightning tail. Um, it has no coincidence or significance in any way uh, to a particular Pokemon that we all know and love. I don't know why I'm just like swinging wildly. I'm just really excited, I guess. My parents never let me play Pokemon, so the best I can do is get the generic when I'm older. Another one done. Number eight is Tansy. This is actually a really good team uh, for the beginning. Its utility is phenomenal. The um, abilities it has are actually pretty darn good. But highly recommend. Number nine is the ruby, and again, I did have to travel a bit to find this one, uh, but I ended up cutting a lot of the footage just because I didn't want to bore you guys. If you actually want to see uh, the longer journey, let me know, and maybe I'll do a longer video next time. Uh, but for this one, the ruby is a really easy tame. It, it's not a very strong creature. And number 10 is our little pingu, the penguin as I call it, or the pin gullet. It's actually a water and ice creature. Um, pretty good to have on your base. And with that, we are done with the PAL deck numbers 1 through 10. Catch us in the next video for our next set of uh, catches. Hopefully, uh, they will go up in difficulty just a bit. Obviously, we're dealing with the easy ones here. See you in the next oh one, and God, thanks for watching. Bye.